going on guys back with another video so it's been a long one it's been about a month since my last video uh not gonna get into um where i've been anything like that uh, i'm fine family's fine everything's good um honestly just be dead honest with you guys i'm not gonna make excuses just had no content um been working my butt off with this recruiting year the year just ended so we kind of get we're kind of getting cut a little bit of slack now so um we're just gonna go from there but hey <clears throat> excuse me this is not what this video is about this video is that's not mine i kind of wish that was mine but that's not obviously we got the slab right here so ah Wheels have been posted on the marketplace for about one and a half months now. Um, somebody finally hit, so you guys already know what we're about to do. I got the handy dandy impact out. You know what's about to happen. I'm getting rid of them. Um, yet again, yet again, uh, just getting rid of wheels left and right. Uh, usually rock a setup for like two months. Um, a lot of you guys know of you guys are some of you guys are new to the channel, uh, especially. Um, between my absence of videos, you know, I only keep the wheels on my truck. Um, I only keep the wheels on my truck roughly about um, two and a half to three months at long or whatever. Then I get rid of them. Um, and I just like switching it up. That's all it is. Uh, everything's paid for. Um, so, you know, I'm not. Oh, dang. Um, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I don't have COVID. Just letting you guys know that. Um, <laughs> no, but um, just uh, I just haven't. I just always switch switch it up. I love switching it up, different designs, different patterns, companies, sizes. Uh, a lot of you guys know, or you may not know, these are twenty four by fourteens on three seventy five forty tires, so they're pretty thick. Um, and the setup before this was a twenty four by sixteen on the same size tires. So. And of course, I'm on the one and a half inch spacers, but I'm about to delete all this stuff. Um, so we're going to go back to the old stocks. Old stocks. Um, well, of course, for the trade. My old 35s on 17s. Honestly, it's hot. I'm just about to get to it. Um, I'll kind of let you guys know, you know, after the whole deal um, with the buyer tomorrow when he buys them. I'm not sure. Um, you know how everything's going to go. And of course, dealing with all that money, you know, I don't want to be too worried about. Um, Recording I want to be able to you know make sure everything goes smooth as possible, uh, but we'll see you know We'll see it's just tomorrow. Just gonna go ahead and knock this out I'm not gonna put it on a time-lapse or anything cuz it's just taking off tires and putting them back on uh, That's literally about it um, Then I gotta get these off and clean them because they are dumb dirty dumb dumb dirty the truck is the truck hasn't even been washing about um, Three weeks now because we've been getting some really good rain in San Antonio, but without further ado Let me stop talking and pull these tires off Oh yeah, and sidebar, of course, with the video, uh, with the video's titled, I totally forgot. Um, we're gonna see how well eBay spacers hold up. Um, so I've had these. So when I bought this setup, no, actually, when I got the old setup before this one, the 24 by 16 Specialty Forged, um, I didn't run spacers, but I had ordered them. So um, I ordered the cheap eBay 8 by 160 or. 6.5 inch spacers, but with 16s alone, 16 wides alone, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to throw the spacers on this. The truck's already crazy wide right now. So they were sitting. So when I got this set up, the 24 by 14s, I put them on. So I've been, I've been on them for about, like I said, two and a half months ish. I can't, I don't know the exact time. Um, not really any off-roading, you know, some big bumps. Of course, these Texas roads, potholes and crap. I mean, I've smacked some freaking potholes and, um, I just kind of see how they hold up. So when I get them off, when I get all the tires off and I put the stocks on, uh, I'm going to do a comparison on, oh, here we go. I'm going to do a comparison on, on all the um, the spacers, see if we got any cracks, um, you know, messed up studs or whatever. So um, let's get to it. All right, so before I even, I literally just only pulled one off, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this out here. Um, this is my first time doing it. I will never ever buy eBay spacers ever again. Let me show you guys. Luckily, I didn't have any issues, you know, with drivability, but look at that crack. Holy crap, guys. Look at that thing. That's a full, that is a full on crack. I can't wait to freaking pull the the nuts off of this thing holy crap i don't see any other cracks on it 
And if this one's like this, holy, I'm, oh my God. And all that weight is up front, so I wonder how those spacers are doing. Dude, that's a full on ass crack. I'm never, I can never do this shit again. Never. Wow. Luckily, on this setup, I didn't pull any trailers. Um, I didn't pull, I didn't pull my camper, the gooseneck on this setup. But oh my god, I couldn't imagine pulling the gooseneck on something like this and. Whew, woo, man, okay. Alright, just got it off. All that tension when I let that nut off. Look at that. And as I was taking it off, that cracked too, because I wasn't there before. So let's see, let's do a drop test real quick. Let's see, let's see how this. Alright, so you guys see the two cracks right here and wherever it's at, right there. Alright. Mm hmm opened up a little bit. Let's try it again. Let me toss it out here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Two and a half months old. And I just want you, and I'm saying all this, um, this is definitely a lesson learned, you know. I can take everything with the grain of salt. Put me on truck rice or whatever, I don't care. Um, so, luckily I caught this and I'll never ever do this again. These guys, where is it at? So the reason I went to these guys is because they's like, yeah, we got the same specs as um, Shifted Industries. Let's see if you can see it. On the stud itself, it says they have 10.9 studs. And they're, what is it? Um, 6061, 6061, um, forged aluminum. It's not gonna focus. Yeah definitely not because I've had um, like three or four sets of different lug pattern freaking shifted industries and never an issue pulling gooseneck campers whatever never an issue and these are literally two and a half months old and some of these were actually cross threaded as well um, and I don't know if that was me but I mean when I put them on it went on smooth as butter my impact isn't that strong so I don't know if these are just, they're not 10.9 rated and they're just soft as shit. Soft as hell, my bad, excuse my language, whatever. Yep, yeah, but, nope. Hell to the no, no, we'll never do that again. Whoo, Jesus. Just like that, we got them in here. I'm not gonna put them in here pretty because I'm about to take them back over where I live and uh, wash them up because like I said before, I mean, a lot of guys probably wouldn't care about it, but me, when I sell something, I want to give it in pristine condition, or at least, you know, to the best of my ability. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you what, I forgot how freaking heavy these 375s were and these 24s, man. Jesus, Whew, your boy is, your boy hurt. Luckily, I got some hydration up there. You guys know what I mean. But, yep, got them in here. Um, luck, or typically I wouldn't lay the wheel like this or the tire because I, I, even though, you know, you never see the back ends of it or whatever, the back side of it, I don't want to scuff them up. But, um, luckily this thing's got some meaty tires on it, some lugs on it. Even though it's pretty much flush, you got these lugs that stick out that'll help you out. So, um, it's sitting on the rubber, not the wheel. Huh. Jesus, I'm out of breath. So I'm about to go ahead and go over here and wash them up. Um, load them for tomorrow and, um... I'll record the deal tomorrow. Woo, all right guys, day two of the vlog. So uh, I'm currently at the meetup spot. Uh, just waiting for this guy to pull up so we can um, so we can link up. I had to come over here, man. My truck's just freaking crazy loud. It's still got a little lean to it. I put air in the airbags, but uh, I did like 40 pounds of air. Those things are heavy though. You can still see a pretty good squat coming from the truck. But uh, yeah, just waiting for this guy to pull up so we can um, knock it out. I can get my monies and um, that's it. But yeah, this is the look of the truck. So I could add more air, of course. Oh, I need to add more air to that rear tire. But um, I could add more air to the rear to level it out for you guys. I don't want the Carolina squat. Um, honestly, I thought 41 pounds of air would be good and I didn't eyeball it. I just kind of put 41 pounds of air in it and then took off. Um, but it's so the truck definitely can be level though But yeah, so this is the look right here. Let me get the wide angle This is the look 
It's temporary. These are just my stocks, in case you guys are new to the channel. I think it looks really good. I, honestly, I think it'll look really good. I wanted to go back to the chrome grill. So the factory one, let me see if I can find one. Go figure. So I found this random gasser right here, but this is the exact grill I want. Uh, minus the, the black inserts, I want the chrome inserts, the actual Laramie one. I actually bought my truck with it and got rid of it for that grill. So I either wanted to go back with the chrome, or honestly, I think I might just color match it to go with the headlights. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, I think that'll look really good. Color match grill with maybe some, I don't know, 37s on stock 20s. And just kind of rock that for the rest of the year, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not really looking for much, be honest. Woo, all right guys, just like that, they're gone. And he's got the fork in. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, they gone. All right guys, so it's actually been a few days since I filmed that last clip. Um, I've actually done a few days, actually it's been like a week and a half. Um, I've actually acquired some new wheels, uh, but we'll get into that in the next video. Um, but essentially, I know there's going to be a lot of unanswered questions, especially when you guys see my next video on what I, uh, the wheels that I bought. Um, a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, why did you do this? Um, why did I sell my specialty forged and go this route? Um, of course, I buy and sell wheels all the time, but um, this time is kind of a little different. Um, and I mean, just basically in a nutshell, I kind of just wanted to to switch everything up um how do i put this uh i kind of wanted to not really go into business um for myself not yet uh, but kind of wanted to do like a little side hustle so i'm sorry if the wind is like crazy loud the wind is like blowing hella crazy right now but um um like i said i used to um own my mobile detailing uh business or whatever on the side of course i'm full-time military active duty um so it was just, it was always nice having that that steady flow of nice really nice income from mobile detailing on the side. Um, it was great. Haven't did that for almost a year now, and um, it's just like man, like I got the itch to do something. Uh, I really got a big itch. So I figured I was like, what am I good at? Of course, washing cars. I'm not gonna do that because I live full time in a camper. Really know where to put all this stuff. But um, I'm really good at buying and selling wheels and tires. Finding a good deal, sourcing it out, um, cleaning it up, whatever the case may be, and flipping it for whatever gain. And so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Um, not, I'm not one of those kind of guys that cheat people. So if you if you have bought a set of wheels for me, uh, or you're gonna buy a set of wheels for me by the time you see this video, or just whatever, um, everything that I will buy and sell is gonna be copacetic. I don't do no shady crap. Um, I've had a set. I've, actually bought a set of wheels from a shady guy and I regret it um, I regret it to this day but that's besides the point I got beyond that I got past that but uh, this is basically what I'm doing so a lot of you guys might you're not gonna probably like the setup that I'm throwing on the truck I don't care um, but it's actually pretty exciting because the wheels that I just picked up I've literally been looking for for two years now one of my homeboys can attest to this I've been looking for these wheels for two solid years so, um, I finally got, I finally picked them up. I finally got a good deal. I raced out to go get them. And there's the wind again. And somebody racing in the background. But um, I was finally able to source those wheels out. So, I finally got them. Now, I just need to look for some <clears throat> some pretty meaty tires. Um, but, yeah, I'm just kind of switching it up. And this is only temporary. This is definitely only temporary. So, um, come next time spring time basically when the truck shows start back up all over again because you know we got the cold weather coming um your boy's coming out swinging and i'm not talking about fours i'm throwing sixes on the truck i'm just go ahead and let you guys know that off the rip i'm throwing sixes on the truck so um and of course 16 wise um you can't do 14s you got to do 16s now but um yeah that's the plan um so essentially this video was just kind of selling the woods and tires i've already actually got another video lined up it's already in the shoot i've already been shooting it um i need to do a little bit more things close it out and i will be freaking posting that one here soon 
But, I mean, other than that, guys, I mean, if you guys are new to the channel, if you would, just please drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and um, we're going to get some content flowing. Now that I have, I feel like I'm getting the excitement back from, um, see the Air Force up there. But now that I, I got the, you know, the big push, the excitement coming back from hustling and stuff like that, like, I, I love it, man. The early morning, late night hustles, freaking hopping in the truck, rolling out. You know, just to go pick up whatever, um, running around with a pocket full of cash, man, it's it's exciting. It's really exciting. So, um, pretty pumped, pretty pumped. This is the start of a new era. This is the start of a new or a bunch of videos being dropped all the time. I know you guys had a lot of questions on how I go through woods and tires so much or uh, how maintenance on the truck because obviously I'm always running hella offset. So, how, did I, how do I offset the maintenance portion for my truck? So, I'll post all that up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I've been talking Jesus for this clip for like five minutes. So, uh, we just, this is it. So, um, like I said, uh, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. You got any questions, hit me up. I'm really quick. I'm typically usually quick to reply to you guys, comments, DMs, whatever. Easiest way to get a hold of me though is through Instagram, through DMs. All my social media is always down in the description. So, other than that, I mean, that's it. I'm kind of rambling now. So, uh, yeah. All right. Peace. Oh, wait. Um, one more thing. So, um, San Antonio is actually going to host a meet towards the end of this year. So, here it is right here. Um, I will be at this one. Um, see if I can get it to focus. Battle at the Alamo. So, you can check them out on IG. Uh, let me see if I can find... Yeah. Here we go. November 14th. It's at the Alamo City Motorplex, which is basically the local drag strip for the San Antonio area. So, um, definitely look these guys up on IG. I'm definitely going to be out there. Uh, who knows? Might throw some wheels on the truck for... Uh, just go buy some wheels or whatever and then throw them on the truck just for the meat and then sell those. Or um, with this new look that I'm trying to pull off, uh, I might just take that out there. Uh, like I said, we'll just dive into it next video. But other than that, I, that's just what I wanted to put out for you guys. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm actually leaving now. All right. Bye.